Hi, so I've built a little Slack bot uh, for Google Trends. It brings some Google Trends functionality to uh, Slack. And because I have so many questions about how to install, what's a Slack command and so on, I want to demo a little bit what you can do with this Slack bot. And um, if you're interested, you can stay a little bit longer and uh, you will also get an idea how this was built. Um, uh, but a, a broad overview. Okay, so let's start. Um, if you have the installation link, which I currently share just in private messages, um, you can go on and install it. And the new thing here is you have to select a channel where um, the Slack bot can push mes messages to. And um, this is new, so if you have installed the app uh, already, um, you need to reinstall with the installation link to get this functionality to receive real-time trends as a push notification to a, a specific channel you selected. If you select that, you will not instantly get push notifications because I need to know um, which country uh, which countries push notifications or real-time trends you want. So if you select a channel here, nothing will happen. You have to set it up for a country afterwards. But I will guide you through and uh, it's an addition, uh, another Slack command. So uh, let's install. And um, there's a super small message, but let's ignore it because um, if you have installed successfully, you can access uh, with apps, Google Transport, messages, you can start. And if you need some information, you can go to apps, Google Trans, Slackbot, home. That's where I am currently. And uh, this uh, will guide you with all the functions you can do. But let's go through and uh, check what this Slackbot can do. First of all, you gave access to messages, so you can have a private conversation with the bot, but you also gave access to make it possible to use the Slack commands in here, in the channels, and you gave access to push it to one specific channel. Um, this will happen in four minutes, if we are correct, and if we now hurry up a little bit, um, because uh, the real-time Trends are pushed every 15 minutes in the current setup. Okay, but let's start. What functionalities do you do we have? So let's check this. So we have daily trends. So how to access daily trends? I can show you. Um, you go to a channel or a private conversation with the bot, and you go Google Trends, Daily Trends, and you want to have it for France. And then you get them. That's the daily trends and uh, all the information. It's just today, not yesterday, because it would be a lot of stuff here. Okay, next functionality is real-time trends. Let's check this one out in a private conversation with the bot. So I go to the bot, I go to messages, I go to like um, Google Trends, real-time trends for Switzerland. There you go. So that's the real-time trends in Switzerland. You see it's a little bit different because it's these topic groups, not just uh, one word or one headline. Like like here I will, yeah, here. That's a different time of, but you know. Um, the third thing you can do is related questions. And related questions, I would recommend always to go with a private conversation with the bot because um, it's kind of, um, it's, a, it's like a research tool. So like you go with Google Trends, uh, sorry, it was Google Trends related queries. So you go like this, Google Trends related queries. And now you type in the keyword and I will go with uh, rain in Germany. So now you get all the related queries and now you can say okay I'm interested in um, uh, rain in Berlin as an additional one and then it will 
go through the related ones. So like this, now you have the related queries for Regenradar and so on. So it's like kind of a, a little bit of a research tool. And um, yeah. Okay, so now we need to hurry up a little bit because we want to configure now the real-time trends push uh, option. I have given access to this bot that the bot can push to the general general channel here, but I need to set it up. And um, I would go to a private message here and say, I want to Google Trends subscribe. And now I need to add the country I want to subscribe. And I want to subscribe uh, the US, come on. So, now it tells me I have subscribed to the US and messages will be pushed to the selected channel, which is general in this case. And um, if I have too much of these uh, um, real-time trends coming to my Slack channel, I can stop it like this. So I don't have to in uninstall the whole application, um, but just go like this. And now it's uh, 14. If we are at 15, it should switch and push something here. So let's see. The US, it was the US. Huh? You see, that's 315. That's the real time trends for US now pushed. I haven't requested them, but they are here as a push. It will also pop in into, so it can be really annoying because it, almost in every country I tested, there were new real time trends every 15 minutes. Okay, so if you want to stop, you can go like this and stop. Now I have unsubscribed, but I can still use uh, it like this. So I can go Google Trends, Real Time Trends, uh, and say US, and uh, then I get the whole list, but manually. And the push feature was really the number one thing uh, requested by beta, test beta testers. Okay, so if you have enough of this bot, uninstallation is here. So there you can kick it out. Okay, so for usage you're now done, um, but if you want to know how exactly this is built I can give you a broad overview here. Um, so it's built on, I started developing on Glitch, uh, then I, I switched to Google App Engine uh, on Google App Engine, there is running um, this Slack framework called Bolt, and uh, it also has an Express uh, receiver. Um, Express receiver is mainly used for the authentication process, as I understood, and um, the, the the authentication information is stored to a Firestore database. Um, and uh, yeah, in addition, I store some, some uh, of course, these uh, the trends I request every 15 minutes, I also store in the, in the file store. And yeah, that's it, more or less. In addition, for all these webhooks, which are used for the push notifications, if you have subscribed, I use some um, a uh, cloud scheduler and a cloud function. So this is set up to trigger the cloud function every 15 minutes. And uh, the, the cloud function basically does three things. It um, gets the real-time trends for all the countries I configured. It's currently just five countries, but in theory you could scale it up. And um, these uh, real-time trends are requested and compared to the previous selected ones so that you just get pushed the new ones. You don't want to learn that the, the trend was there 15 minutes ago, but here it is again. So that's the first step. Then it checks for the subscribers for a country. 
So if you use this subscribe management command, this GT subscribe and say Germany, then Germany is connected to your authentication and um, the webhook uh, is bundled to, um, I think, the, the team ID or something. Yeah, I think the team ID and then it knows that um, you have subscribed to um, this country. And uh, the third thing it does, it uh, triggers the, the webhook uh, uh, and uh, pushes the trend. So that's it. If you have questions, if you want to use it, uh, please send me a direct message because it's currently not public available. I, I need to check out how it scales. But um, yeah, the comments are also amazing to give some feedback. Thanks.